Are you afraid of the dark? Don't move. Don't touch that mouse. You are listening to Fade to Black, bespoke radio for the masses, on jimmychurchradio.com. Way out here, we listen to Jimmy Church on the Dark Matter Radio Network. Dark Matter. Dark Matter. Dark Matter. Dark Matter. Dark Matter. Dark matter. You're listening to Fade to Black on the Dark Matter Radio Network. ¿Qué tal, mis amigos? Yo soy Mario Carzaner, tiburón, y los invito para que escuchen a mi buen amigo Jimmy Church Radio. ¡Claro que sí! Hoy, hoy, I'm Reese Evans, you're listening to Jimmy Church. This is Revolution. The Revolution will not be televised. The Revolution is on radio. Ciao. Welcome back, Fade to Black, only, only on the Dark Matter Radio Network. I'm your humble host, Jimmy Church. Follow us on Twitter, at JChurchRadio, hashtag DMRadioNet. That's what you want to do. Go hang out in the sandbox. Got a big treat coming up here in a few minutes. Shoot me an email to Jimmy at JimmyChurchRadio.com. I said before the break, I'd take a couple of phone calls. I've got them backed up. Let's take our first one now. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black with Jimmy Church. Who's calling? Where are you calling from? Uh, uh, hello, uh, Jimmy? You're on the air. You're live. Yeah, yeah, yeah Jimmy. Um, I'm, uh, wow, I can't believe I'm, I'm making this call. Uh, it's been 17 years. Um, um, there, there, there's a lot of hoopla on the radio all these years on the internet, all the crazy, uh, 17 years ago, there was a call to the Art Bell program. Um, uh, a man, uh, he, he called and he, 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 he claimed to have knowledge of area 51 and it, it resulted in a, in a pretty big catastrophe. Um, some, I don't know, some call it radio history. I just know I've been living a nightmare ever since then. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. Hey. Where, where are you calling from? Uh, I, <laughs> I, I have fallen for that trick once. I am not going to tell you where I'm calling from. It's only going to be a matter of time before they're going to be able to use it. It's like the, the technology has advanced. in 17 fucking years. Oh, I'm sorry. 17 years. And, and 17 years. And so like, yeah, here, here I am. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm calling your show and I know I can tell you what took the satellite down. When you are you talking about with back with Art Bell? Yes. Area 51. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 All right. Take a deep breath, my brother. All right, all right. It, what I mean, happened? What happened? There, there was all, there was truth back then, and there was this crazy guy in Philadelphia, and he called out of his parents' basement because Art Bell put on a program saying, "Area Fifty One callers, call on in." And this guy, who had nothing to do with Area Fifty One, he called in and he he put on this show and he said these words, and next thing you know, he said whatever he said, and a satellite went out, and his life has been a living hell since then. What brought the satellite down? I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. He, he, he said things at the time about Area 51 and, and that there was a precursor and to, to NASA and, and the, that what the United States government is in contact with is not alien beings. They are beings from another world. They're extra-dimensional, and no one seems to understand that. I, I, 
listen, listen. You're yelling. Just calm down. Calm down. I, just, I know what I sound like. It's, it's just, it's been hard. Are you there? Something, hang on. My computer, my mouse is acting funny. Hang on. What the? What was that? Bring that call. What? Keith, are we back? Keith, just text me. We're back? Yep. Okay. That was a trip. What went out on the air? Somebody call me, 323-825-5045. 323-825-5045. I want to know exactly that is buzzing me out that okay <clears throat> all right um wow wow are my phone lines down too somebody test the phone lines 323-825-5045 323-825-5045 i don't even know if i have phone lines we got everything back online. Okay, we got a call coming in right now. We got, uh, okay, two calls. It looks like it is working. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. Who's calling? Hey, it's Rick. How you doing? Rick, what did you hear? Uh, I heard some guy just do like, uh, Netflix. like he was uh, imitating this one call that Art Bell had from the guy that was uh, calling from a payphone and got, uh, got found. And then... Uh, he cut off, and then we had this really weird circus music. <laughs> really? Hold on. We got another call. Let's let's join these calls. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. What did you hear? Are you there? I can't hear the other caller. Yeah, he's he's with us. He's joined us. Okay, well, yeah, that's weird, man. And everything went funky here. Lost my mouse. That call just dropped on its own. That's, yeah, wow. And then some funky music came on? Yeah, it's like, um, I don't know, man, like old 1950s uh, technical difficulties type of uh, type Techn- of music, like organ. Like uh, I just expect to see a bunch of clowns trying to get out of a Mini Cooper or something like that. I mean, it's like circus music. Unbelievable. Okay, here's this other call. Let's see if we can... Uh, hi, you're live on Fade to Black with Jimmy Church. What did you hear? Yeah, this is Steve from Bluefield. It, same thing, man. This dude just goes off, has an episode on, on your show, Jimmy. That was insane. Well, it, was, it wasn't It was only that. It was what happened to the computer system here, too, as well, at the same time. Yeah, they start playing some kind of crazy, like this, some crazy circus music, and I, uh, we have it another. Was done, it was done. Here's another call coming in. What did you hear? You're live on the air. Oh, I heard somebody sound of schizophrenic. <laughs> I thought that was a setup. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Off their meds. That's that was crazy. Here we have a bunch of calls coming in. What did you hear? You're live on the air. Hi, Jimmy. This is Robert. I'm calling from uh, Indio, California, near the site of the uh, Coachella Music and Arts Festival. That was crazy. Uh, I, heard, 
I heard everything the previous caller said. It sounded like uh, somebody was uh, having a bit of a bad time, like a maybe a complete mental collapse on the airwaves. I was trying to calm them down. Here we have a bunch of I, calls coming in. Let's just, I'm going to stack them up with everybody. Hi, you're live on the air with Jimmy Church. What did you hear? Jimmy, it's going to be an early winter. The nuts are falling out of the trees. <laughs> that was that was pretty crazy. That, that was pretty crazy. That was that pretty was, nuts. That was absolutely crazy. That's why we love your show. Art Bell used to get that every every night just about. Absolutely. Um, I, 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 I'm stacking up calls here. You're also live on Fade to Black uh, with Jimmy Church. What did you hear? Is that me? There's a bunch of calls. I've got everybody on. Everybody's listening to each other. <laughs> Hi, you're live on uh, Fade to Black right now. Who's calling? This hey, it's is me. Mike from... Jimmy, it's uh, the filmmaker. Oh, oh hey, well, hey, hi, how are you? Yeah, I've got yeah. everybody live all at once. The calls are just coming in. I just thought I'd stack them all up and get everybody's opinion really quick. That was pretty bizarre. Yes. Um, didn't he call before, like, the next day saying that he lied? Uh, I, I don't know. I just remember that the the call 17 years ago, you know, I was one of, like, 20 million people that heard that call live that night. Hi, you're live on Fade to Black. What did you hear? Jimmy, is this, is, is that me? That's everybody. Everybody is live. All right. Everybody. Everybody's on. Everybody's on all at the same time. Hey, listen, I'm going to disconnect the call. I want everybody to listen offline, and I'm going to keep the calls coming in for a second. Okay. Catch you later, Jimmy. I don't have my radio on. Oh well, you're going to have to go turn it on. <laughs> oh, uh, all right. My, or no, my internet on. Yeah, yeah. Get it on. Get it on. I've got a bunch Jimmy, of calls I coming in. Recognize that guy's voice. That's the same guy from Art Bell. That's the oh, sa- I can hear myself. Yes, you can. So that was the same guy from 17 years ago, 20 he years is. ago. I recognize his oh, voice. That's I have no mean. clue about that, Jimmy. And he uh, I couldn't listen to him for very long, face. though. But uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I recognize his voice. Okay, one at a time. I recognized his voice instantly. He called back to Bell a while after and and turned himself in. And did, he did the fake, and Art was convinced it was him. The whole thing was a fake, and that's an identical play. So he sounds the same 17 years it later. It is huh? him. I recognize the voice. Instantly. It, it is the guy. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for calling in. I've got a, another 20 calls backed up behind you. So let's okay. just keep okay. keep it going. Everybody, Thanks, Jimmy. have a great night. Bye. All right. That was trippy. (laughs) Hey, Brian. Yes. Say hi to the world. Hello, world. (laughs) This is Brian Glass, everybody. Yes, the gentleman that made the call 17 years ago on Art Bell, which, which was radio history welcome to the program brian how are you tonight uh, i'm doing uh, i'm doing fantastic this is so great to be on your show and uh, do you know we are two days away from the actual anniversary of the call is that bizarre it's called synchronicity my brother yeah synchronicity this is awesome so um now <laughs> I, the reason why, um, uh, yeah, thank you for that. And, and I got to tell you that even though I knew what was going on and I was in on it, you were freaking me out, man. <laughs> you were, oh, thank you. You were freaking me out. Thank you very much. I was thinking, uh, you know, okay, you know what? There are a bunch of calls coming in right now. You know what? Let's just see what people have to say. Let's go. Hi, you're you're live on Fade to Black with infamous Brian Glass. Infamous is the correct word to use here, Brian, by the way. Absolutely, (laughs) and include my JL. It's my professional name, Brian JL Glass. Absolutely. (laughs) It is that guy. It is that guy. Hi, who's calling? (laughs) Say hi to Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, we did the first one. Uh, uh, You said it was better than the first one? No, no, not better. I recognized the, his voice. 
Uh, I don't know why. I just did. I was a big fan of, 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 of Hokey Radio, and I recognized his voice. I, I've played that clip dozens of times over the years. It was, I knew it was him. You know, uh, we were talking uh, over the last couple of days, Brian and I, and I went and looked on YouTube, and that his clip with art, is it's millions, millions, millions of views. And well, that's a ball grabber, that one. It yeah, is, it is, it, absolutely. <laughs> it was well, good. It, that was great. It was, and, and <laughs> hats off to you. <laughs> and, Thank you. Absolutely, Brian. And and see, this is the thing: is uh, not only is there millions of views on YouTube with that, but that was when Art was at his massive steamrolling peak, and there was probably yeah. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 million people that night. That heard yeah, it live. Yeah. I can't believe nobody else got it. I knew the instant. I couldn't believe it. I sent an email and thought, hey, I'm going to try to call in. I, I'm up in Canada. I didn't think I'd get through. But <laughs> well, thank you. I can't you. believe nobody else recognized the voice. I thought that was an easy giveaway. <laughs> 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 this is a fake. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, I didn't get your name. Chris. Okay. Hey, Chris, what city up in Canada before I let you go? Uh, Oshawa. Oshawa. Well, where is yeah. that? That could be That's anywhere. Right outside of Toronto. Way outside of Toronto. Okay, up yeah. near. Uh, let's see, what would be north of Toronto? Uh, not much, uh, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I just moved here from BC. Okay, so. you've already got a Canadian accent, man. You need to. Uh, you need to come down here well, and I'm hang born out. And raised. Oh, okay, born I got you. In Canada, I'm from Prince Rupert, BC. So. All right. Thank you, Chris. All the best, man. I'm glad you had fun. Anyways, cool. Take care. Right Great on. Show. Love it. Thank you, man. See, you know, and did you have any idea, Brian, did you have any clue that you would leave a mark on literally tens of millions of people for a couple of decades? Uh, it has been a surreal 17 years. Uh, I was a struggling up and coming comic book writer at the time. I was also part of a, a touring theater group out of Philadelphia and uh, I was a huge fan of Art Bell because I would, I would spend my evenings uh, literally in my parents' basement, the literal cliche back in 97. I was in my parents' basement, and I would listen to Art Bell, and I would be on the computer, and I would either be writing or lettering my upcoming comic. And I would listen to Art, and the very first inspiration for the call that became the Area 51 caller was a night that he had, he had vampires calling up. And uh, he, he, at one point, he, he did it at one of his open lines, he did vampire line. And everyone calling up was supposed to say they were a vampire. And then at one point, he had a caller call in to say he was a vampire hunter. And that was where the first inspiration to kind of do the crazy paranoid guy to call in and be a vampire who actually wanted to be killed. And I spent that whole evening, like within the couple of hours that the free lines were open, trying to get through, and I didn't. And it was like two weeks later, he did the Area 51 caller, and I was working on a book with Mike Oming, at the comic creator Mike Oming at the time, called Ship of Fools. And that whole spiel I rattle off is the backstory behind our comic Ship of Fools about precursor to NASA, and they were extra-dimensional beings and disasters that were going to change the landscape of the world. And I just thought, I'm going to make the call. I'm going to play the same crazy, paranoid character. Uh, coincidentally, at the time, uh, in this touring theater group, I was playing a guy in a mental institution in a, in a show called Asylum. And I took the characterization, the, the language, stuttery, pronunciation and combined it all with the backstory of ship of fools and thought let me make the call and what no one on the air heard was i had a whole i had boxes set up in the basement i had a glass to shatter and at the very end of the call when basically things disconnected on art was all of a sudden i shrieked they, they found me and i started throwing boxes around and it ended with a bottle smashing <laughs> seconds of dead air, and then I picked up the phone and went, 
What you have heard, Mr. Bell, was just entertainment for your audience. Click. And I realized I was no longer on the air. And when I tuned in the radio, there, all hell had broken loose. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'll never forget it. I remember I was so disturbed after that. And back then, uh, you couldn't, you know, jump on YouTube or listen to files or go back and review. You were stuck unless you were recording the show, like with a cassette deck or something. You you couldn't go and listen. And I, I was like, did that really happen? And the next day, everybody talking about it. And it was uh, it was disturbing. It was absolutely disturbing. And and. I guess I, I've never spoken to Art about this directly. I would love for him to call in. Uh, Art, if you're going to call in on any night, tonight that is the night that you call in. But um, that the satellite going down and the feed going down, that really happened. Yeah, that is, I, I've been, over the years, I've been accused of various people who, like, of course, you, know, you make such a claim as this. You're the Area 51 caller. And immediately you get the people who don't believe it you immediately feed into the air of conspiracy. And, but there's the people that then did believe that, you know, it, that my end of it was theater. And then they've been angry as if like I called art out of the blue to seed this false information, but it was part of the theater of that night, the, the area 51 line. Right. And when you listen to the calls that preceded mine, the, 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 the quality of the, quote, performances varies from quasi-believable to, <laughs> that's a guy having fun on the phone. But it, it's the, the idea of the satellite going out in the middle of that call that suddenly took it to a completely different level that... I didn't set out to, I'm, I'm, oh, let me, let me fool art. Let me fool the ufology community. Let me, let me trick people. It was part of the theater of Art Bell's show. And I was just a call that got in. And for me, the true, while, while people have said, oh, the moment the call is a fake, then, oh, it's all a fake and I'm angry at him and all the, the, the stuff that I've gotten but the rea- for me, the true conspiracy reality is, while my call was fake, Art Bell's show was real. Mm-hmm. I, I said something in a fake call that made a real satellite lose Earthlock. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> uh, uh. And that is what has terrified me for 17 years. Absolutely. I mean, the he, odds of that happening at that moment and like it and you could hear you could hear it in Art's voice, whether uh, he was taking the phone call serious at that moment. We don't know what was in Art's mind, but uh, then to have the satellite feed go down. And I remember the guy calling up after that and it was like Mark Furman was on the air, right? <laughs> or something, yeah. something, something bizarre. Uh, came on and it lasted for minutes. It didn't, you know, it wasn't quick like we did tonight here, but, mm-hmm. but it lasted for minutes. And, and then when art came back and he was on his backup generator or backup feed line or whatever he was doing to, uh, to get back on the air, he was perplexed and you could tell, you could tell he was flustered and he doesn't fluster. 